It appears that poor workmanship is to blame for the collapse of the residential building at Makongeni Estate in Nairobi. According to survivors, the building started showing signs of caving in when debris started falling off. Lakini, kulingana na vile kunaonekana, ni hii foundation yake ndio ilikuwa mbaya. Sababu tumeishi almost one year tukiwa nini ikiwa kuanzia first floor baka third floor na iko fully occupied lakini wakati wamekuja kuongezea hii the fourth floor na fifth Lack of enforcement of quality standards in the construction of buildings, according to the National Construction Authority, has seen a rise in the number of substandard buildings, even as it emerged that the construction of the building had not been approved. And the current government is here that there were no papers that were given to these people who have been putting up this construction. Lands Housing and Urban Development Cabinet Secretary Charity Ngilu says action will be taken against the owner of the building and the contractor once investigations are complete. I must also say that there was somebody somewhere in an office who was helping the person do this. There are also those people who should be continuously in inspecting and making sure that houses are of the highest standard, if and if they are low cost who did not do their work. This is what therefore needs to be uh, thoroughly investigated so that action can be taken against those people. Oh, this one is going to be a very good, uh, deep investigation, including the architectural, they will come in, the experts will come in. They will give a report what quality of work was here. Ngilu acknowledged the demand for housing in Nairobi is high, but cautioned residents against opting for poorly constructed buildings. She said her ministry has embarked on the construction of 140,000 housing units to meet the ever-increasing demand. We are going to put up um, very many houses in, in, in the pipeline. We already have uh, in place a designed 140,000 housing units. We are starting with the, the civil service housing units here at Starehe, Michelle Remoyo and Park Road. Maria Ambo reporting for the News Hour.